Addison Ray. You may know her for chewing apples in front of 88 million people on TikTok. <laughs> Her infamous Netflix movie, which contained more product placement than story. I'll work in some aloe head to toe glow oil to get rid of the dryness. Her seven minute long reality TV show on Snapchat, where she couldn't even get a full sentence in without an ad playing. Before I was a social media star with more than 80 million followers, I was just. Just Addie from LA. Or maybe you're just one of her adoring fans like me. It seems like almost everything she or even her parents do is in the spotlight these days, but I recently came across an Addison Rae movie that absolutely no one is talking about. It's called Spy Cat. It was banned in the UK. I'm sorry to announce Addison Rae's new movie, Spy Cat, is now illegal. I actually don't know if anyone's ever seen this movie. I could only find one tweet about it. I watched Spy Cat last night with my boyfriend. The movie was hella good. And with an endorsement like that, surely it can't be that bad. This is Marnie, a spoiled house cat with a love for detective shows. Follow me, detective. You better tell me where you got that bling. So right off the bat, Addison Rae sounds like she has no interest in being in this movie. I'm pretty sure I've heard that AI voice on TikTok give more passionate performances. Follow me, detective. That was better. <laughs> but to be fair, the script here is not doing Addison any favors. Just listen to the way the dialogue was written in this trailer for the movie. I am Special Agent, and I'm investigating the case of those mysterious break-ins. I'm sure Addison didn't read the script ahead of time, but red flag number one should have been in the recording booth when the dialogue looked like it was written by Google Translate. And there's a very real possibility that it was, because Spy Cat did not originally star Addison Rae. It was actually made and released in Germany in 2019 under a different title and with an entirely different voice cast, none of which were influencers. Now, if you want to check out the German version or really any movie that you can't watch in your country, luckily we have a sponsor perfect for today's video, Atlas VPN. So recently I was watching Titanic on Netflix. It's a great movie, but it was also really late at night, like 9 p.m. And I fell asleep before they even boarded the ship. <laughs> then when I woke up the next day and tried to finish it, the movie was literally removed overnight from Netflix in the US. Ugh. But luckily Atlas VPN can unblock content hidden in your region by pretending that your computer is somewhere else. I've never been to Germany, but as far as Netflix knows, I was chilling in Berlin, eating one of those fancy pretzels, and watching the Titanic sink on my laptop. So for just $1.99 a month, you can watch movies and shows from all over the world without ever leaving the comfort of your own home. Plus, Atlas VPN keeps your browsing private and secure, so you never have to worry about somebody tracking your data or finding out about all those dumb questions you Google searched after watching Titanic. Okay, maybe that's just me. But right now, they're running a huge discount where you can get a three-year subscription for just $1.99 a month, including a 30-day money-back guarantee if you change your mind. Time is running out though, so get your deal in the video description below. And thank you to Atlas VPN for sponsoring this video. <laughs> Wait, stop. Don't move. Huh? Why? I know this necklace. It looks like the stolen loot to me. Now, of course, this movie would have been better had they hired literally any voice actor to play Marnie. But believe it or not, that strategy actually didn't work out so well in Germany. Their version of Spy Cat opened to a whopping $198 at the box office, which might be an indicator that the movie just isn't very good. My theory is that the creators probably panicked thinking they weren't going to make any money on this thing. But then someone suggested that they put out a low budget dub in English and get someone with a lot of followers to voice the cat, because that way, even even if the movie isn't great, they could at least get some clout out of it to sell a few copies. But I actually think it backfired in this case. As far as I can tell, she never posted about it, and her performance is so bad that it pretty much ruined the movie. Just for comparison, this is how Marnie sounds in the German version. <laughs> Now just prepare yourself for how Addison Ray delivered her lines for that same scene. Oh no, security door. Haha! <laughs> Special Agent Marnie Sunshine has almost solved the case. Even if you don't speak German, you can at least tell that the voice actor put effort into her performance. Meanwhile, Addison Ray sounds like she's reading a book aloud in her middle school English class. No trace of a break-in? In episode 95 of Agent O'Hara, there's a similar case. No one knows how the thief got the golden cactus out of the guarded safe. 
But of course, Agent O'Hara figures it out. Then not only is this dub low budget, it's also just lazy. You'll notice that in every behind the scenes clip, Addison is wearing the same clothes, which basically confirms that she was there for like two hours, dubbed the entire script in one take, and then cashed that check. But in the process, they must have missed recording a few lines, because at one point, you can clearly tell that they've spliced in an iPhone voice memo that Addison did after the fact, and it doesn't match at all. Are you sure this is the way to the dump? And then we drive to the circus. Then for a line they missed towards the end, they didn't even get a voice memo from Addison, and instead, a completely different voice actor dubbed over the line and mimicked her performance. Oh no, he's getting away. We have to do something. So it's no surprise that Spy Cat skipped a theatrical release in the US and went straight to dollar stores, where it's currently competing with movies like Straight Outta Oakland, Finding Jesus. Praise Jesus, Joy! Always and forever, Muggle. So it's safe to assume that putting a controversial TikTok star's name on your movie will at least make it stand out. And I know that this was their strategy, because the DVD cover literally says Addison Ray is Spy Cat and nothing else. They don't tell you anything about the plot, there's not some bogus quote about how good it is. All they want you to know is that Addison Ray is Spy Cat. And hey, to their credit, that was enough to get me to tune in. Come on, boys, I know how to solve this case. And if you do exactly what I say, we'll succeed. So, what even is this movie about, you may ask? Well, the poster makes it look like some high tech, spy kids esque adventure with lasers and fancy shades. But of course, none of that's even in this movie. It's set in the town of Drabville, which is pretty much the exact opposite of what they advertised. Nothing much has happened here in Drabville. The opening scene once again reminds us that Addison. Addison Ray is Spy Cat, which like, I totally get why they marketed the movie that way. But at this point, I've already been duped into watching this thing. There's no need to continue taunting me about my poor life choices. Who are you? All right, I'll tell you. <sighs> Spy Cat is basically Garfield, an orange house cat who eats with a fork and has a schedule of sleeping, eating, and watching TV. But when a mysterious man shows up at her door, her entire personality changes and she suddenly becomes the feline James Bond. Oh, dear sister, a bus got me. We'll have you back on your feet in no time. So shockingly, this Paul guy was not telling the truth. Not only can he walk just fine, but he's the criminal mastermind behind the town's panty raids. Hello? Who's there? <gasps> and he's just diabolically evil. As soon as the cat figures out what he's up to, he stuffs her in a box and ships it to the North Pole. But then again, Marnie's owner seems to have taxidermied all her previous cats and stuck them on top of a cabinet, and there's already a pedestal waiting for Marnie. So either way, she would have been stuffed one day. <laughs> Now, unfortunately for the viewing audience at home, the package falls out of the truck and our beloved Marnie manages to escape onto a farm. Hello? Just in time for another awful Addison Ray performance. You better tell me where you got that bling. Oh, I found all this at the dump. Isn't it beautiful? I'm gonna use it in my circus act. <laughs> but who's to say you're not lying? Maybe you are one of the thieves. I showed that clip to a friend who said it sounds like she's being held at gunpoint to do these lines. And if that were the case, I would totally understand. But there's weirdly an unbelievable amount of behind the scenes footage for a movie like this. And you can see her doing TikToks in the recording booth, probably laughing about how much they're paying her to give us nothing. You know, if Addison Rae really wants to break into acting, that's fine. But the fact that she was handed this opportunity and actively chose to put in minimal effort, it must be frustrating for all the actual voice actors out there who would have put their all into this performance. Do you think you'll miss home? I'll visit, but I need adventure and challenges. However, on one of the bonus features of the Dollar Store DVD, they actually gave us at home the chance to try and dub along this movie. I'm a TikToker. Let's see if I can do a better job voicing Spy Cat than the TikTok star they chose to be in this movie. Matthew, it's your line. Oh, su suspect is leaving the room. Come on, you stay here. Do you hear that? 
Take that, Addison Ray. Now, like I mentioned earlier, the original cut of this movie was banned in the UK. But for what reason, you might ask? Urinating over the remnants of an old fairy tale. I'm not making this up. Spy Cat is loosely based on the Brothers Grimm's The Town Musicians of Bremen, where a group of animals leave their homes to become town musicians in Bremen. But when I say loosely, there is no music in this story, and none of the animals are headed to Bremen. Needless to say, it's not the best adaptation of the story, and the UK has a censored version of Spy Cat without this scene, where the animals steal a truck while the drivers are taking a pee break on the side of the road. <laughs> Oh, what the? Come on, you idiot! Oh. But that's tame compared to some of the other crap the UK let slide, like when all the animals get shot at. I hope you can keep this to yourself. Okay. It's, it's top secret, you know. <laughs> Just like on Agent Ahura or when the dog goes full mobster. I'm gonna wipe that smile clear off your face. Tell him, sister! At one point, the police lock Marnie up and try her as a human adult. Then the movie goes into a whole shame fest. First, they shame the dog for not being good enough. You were his guard dog, but you weren't able to stop the break-in. That's why your owner called you a pathetic coward. <laughs> <laughs> Is that true, Elvis? Then they body shame Marnie. The Bradfield police are on the lookout for a gang of thieves. These include a chubby orange cat. Uh, what? A zebra with I'm a yellow bag. Later on, there's a plot twist that the zebra is really a donkey who just painted on stripes for some nonsensical reason. And naturally, they shame him for it. Pathetic. You don't understand. Then at the end, there's an airplane fight, which looks like it was ripped straight out of the movie Up, and the villain falls right out of the sky. <laughs> Addison Rae's dad is also supposedly in this movie. I don't know if he cut some sort of deal with the studio, but his name is listed right below hers in the credits as voicing Detective Mitsu. I've watched this movie like three times now, and I've yet to see a character named Detective Mitsu. However, her dad did make an appearance in the virtual premiere party for this movie on YouTube. I can't tell you why, but around 3,000 fans attended this thing, and they were all treated to a snack break by Addison Ray. I'm not gonna show the whole thing, but it's basically two full minutes of Addison Ray staring at a toaster. Oh my gosh. Kiss me every time. And then it almost brings us right back to where we started. Addison Ray filming an extreme close-up of herself eating a snack. Now while you're still here, I figured this would be a great place to announce that I have won the lottery, so you'll have to subscribe to see what I do with all my winnings. But until then... Well, it's that time!